Good morning. So today I figured I would share with you my latest haul from Sugar Milk Co., which is a small brand that makes these perfume oils and they're all Gourmand scents. They're really amazing. They only have restocks like once or twice a month and it's only for a couple days at a time. And they bring out new scents seasonally. Then they have ones that are there pretty much every restock as their staple kind of scents. They're really amazing. And if you haven't heard of them or haven't checked them out, then you should definitely give it a try if you're into that kind of thing. If that's your scent profile that you like is Gourmand Scents, this is definitely for you. They are a little expensive. So the big ones are, I believe, $38. They do have $18 ones that are smaller, but they are roller balls. And the bigger ones are sprays. And everything that you buy is non-returnable. So when you buy it, you're committed to it. So definitely don't like jump in and buy like 20 of them <laughs> at once. I've collected these. I don't buy them all at once, obviously. So I did place a pretty big order last time just because one of their scents was going away and because some of them are only limited time and I didn't want to miss out on it. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first one that I was just talking about that was going away is apple cider donuts. So this is a kind of spicy apple scent. It does have more like cinnamon in it than I had anticipated it would. Kind of reminds me of pumpkin apple from Bath and Body Works, which I don't particularly love, but this one's a little bit more toned down. So I can definitely handle this one and I'll be able to pair it with things, and make it better. <laughs> Next one I didn't want to miss out on is chocolate milk because I had heard so many good reviews about it. This one is very, very strong and it has the good chocolate smell. So I don't know about you, but for me, chocolate can either be good or it can be bad. So like hot cocoa and cream to me is not a good chocolate smell, especially in the shower gel. But this one is nice. It's not too much. And maybe it's that milk factor that kind of gives it that creaminess in it. I'm not really sure. But I really enjoy this one. It's very strong though. So you don't need a whole bunch of this for sure. Next, we have cherry boba tea which I had passed on this one several times because I didn't think I'd like it. But then I started reading the reviews on it and everybody was talking about how great it was. And so I decided to buy it before it went away. And it is actually like a cherry kind of almond scent. It's really, really nice. I really enjoy this. And I can think of a lot of things that I can't wait to wear it with. So I'm excited that I got this one. The next one that I got is Honey Pear Bubble Tea which I thought this one was going to be really, really sweet because honey is sweet and pears are sweet. But it is sweet because most of their scents are sweet. But there's like a spice to it. And I'm not really sure what it's from. So it kind of threw me off a little bit. I do still like it. And I'll still wear it. But it just it wasn't what I expected. Next, we have Cranberry Soda which this one I'm not thrilled about. It's very tart just because, you know, cranberries are tart. But I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm going to wear this with. I'll have to figure it out because obviously I'm not going to just let it go to waste. But this is not something that I would buy again for sure. And then my favorite out of my new ones is this Candy Cosmos. This one is amazing. They're, I don't even know what the notes are. I can't remember, but I smell like peach in there and strawberry and it's just so sweet and it's just it's so good and I can't wait to wear it. I'm really excited about this one. So then we'll go ahead and go into the ones that I already have, which so we'll start with powdered donuts. This one does. It smells just like when you open a box of powdered donuts, that sweet, bready scent like powdered sugar. It's it's really good. And I really like it. Next we have Berry Berry Cereal, which does smell just like Captain Crunch Berries. So it does remind me of Berry Waffle Cone, which is not one of my favorite scents. But this one is not as strong and in your face 
as Glary Waffle Cone is. So I do like this one. It's definitely not my favorite though. And I was a little disappointed when I opened it and smelled it and it smelled just like Glary Waffle Cone. But I'm still going to wear it. I'll pair it with something. And I like that it's not as strong as Glary Waffle Cone. Because that one's just too much. Too much. So this next we have Cotton Candy. This one smells just like Cotton Candy. It is... Just sweet and sugary, smells like boardwalk, taffy, and cotton candy clouds, which are just sweet cotton candy type of scents. It's a really good one. Next, we have strawberry milk, which is one of their most popular ones. I think this is one of the ones that they sell every single time. I do like this one. It doesn't remind me of like nest quick or anything like that it does has a nice strawberry scent but it's kind of, kind of like you ate a bowl of cereal or strawberry cereal and this is the milk that's left so it's not like when you mix in the strawberry flavor in the milk if that makes any sense if you know what i'm talking about it is nice though definitely one of the really popular ones next this is one of my favorites is sweet blueberry pie it does remind me a lot of blueberry crumble Bath and Body Works, but it's not as heavy on that crust note, which is what turns me off from Blueberry Crumble Bath and Body Works. I do like to pair this one with Blueberry Sugar Pancakes or Santa's Blueberry Shortbread, if anybody still has any of those. These go really well together. The blueberry is just really sweet, and then the pine note is, is there, but it's not overtaking it. Next, we have grape cotton candy, which just smells like synthetic grape. You know, like how grape candy tastes. That's exactly what this smells like. I really, really like it. I'm not sure what I'm going to wear it with yet, but I really, really like it. Next up, we have snow cone. So the first time I smelled this, all I could smell was lemon. And I was like, it just smells like lemon. But as it sits, you can smell the cherry and the sweetness comes through and it's just really nice it does smell like a snow cone i don't know how they capture it so perfectly but they really do they know what they're doing for sure the next we have coke float which is not one of my favorite ones there's like something that throws it off i don't know what it is it's kind of like a medicinal scent that's in it and i just i don't love it which is kind of sad, <laughs> but I mean, we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. And then we have frosted animal cookie, which just smells sweet. Like it kind of just smells like a sweet cookie, but it doesn't remind me of like those frosted cookies. Like if I smelled this, that wouldn't be the first thing that came to my mind. It is nice though. I do like it. It's not one that I would buy again, but I do like it. Then next we have banana milk, which I absolutely love this one. It really just smells like banana candy. And, you know, you don't ever really get banana scents. And banana smells amazing. So, it's definitely Bath & Body Works needs to come out with like a banana cream pie or something in their lineup. It'd be amazing. There's like a little bit of like cinnamon or something in this one. Which kind of threw me off the first time I smelled it. But I really 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 like it this one has a pretty good dent in it which I mean these last forever because I mean I spray a lot and I mean, there's still a lot left I've used this several times next we have strawberry milkshake so I do like this one better than strawberry milk this one is more creamy in my opinion I guess it's that milkshake note the ice cream note it's in it but it's definitely better one of the two in my opinion next we have marshmallow fluff which just smells sweet like a marshmallow <laughs> which is exactly what it's supposed to smell like it's a pretty good dent in that one i do like this one and i know this is one of their more popular ones too that sells out quite often on their website so if you can get a hold of it and you want to smell like a marshmallow then definitely do that then we have creamy dreamy orange pop which really does just smell 
like an orange drink. Like it smells like you opened up an orange crush or orange Fanta. That's exactly what it smells like. And it smells so good. I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to pair it with that orange creamsicle one that came out at SAS. I'm really excited for that. Next we have mango cupcake, which I love this one too. So I don't really smell the cupcake in it. It just smells like a sweet mango. But I really, really like this one. And I think this was like a summertime only. So it'll probably be back next summer. If you want to try it. Then next we have Princess Buttermint. And this one smells just like Buttermints, which were one of my favorite candies. So I was super excited to get this one. It is very, very strong. I wore it the other day with Coconut Mint Drop. And all I could smell was the buttermint. <laughs> it was a nice pairing, but it was definitely very, very strong. So if you like buttermint, definitely give this one a try. Then next we have lemon cake. So this one does just smell like a sweet lemon cake. Kind of reminds me of Brightland Snowdrop that came out from Bath and Body Works. That they've never brought back. I mean, you can mix this with like Christmas cookies and make your own bright linen snowdrop if you wanted. <laughs> That's what I intend to do. Definitely like that one. This is one of my newer ones. I got this this summer. This is melon soda. This one is watermelon, and I love this one. It's hard to find a good watermelon scent, but this is definitely one that you need if you like that kind of thing. I paired it with Pink Watermelon Blast, and it's just amazing. And I'm really excited that I got that one. And then we have the Donut Shop, which is like a raspberry donut. So it does really remind me of Raspberry Jam Donut. And I'm definitely going to pair these together. I've been trying to work these more into my daily scents, just because I have so many of them. And like, I don't want them to just sit there. I definitely want to use them enjoy them it's kind of a nice base too you can only spray it on once so next we have birthday cake which really does just smell like birthday cake it smells like vanilla cake and that's it it's awesome though definitely good for layering next we have candy cream which I don't particularly love this one it doesn't do much for me. <laughs> it is sweet, but there's like a, there's a weird note in it. I don't know what it is, but it, it's not one that I definitely grab for. And we have Princess Bubblegum, which does smell just like bubblegum pop. It even has that little bit of citrus in it that the one from Bath and Body Works has. And I really like this and it's a good base that and that's what I've used it with and I'm very happy with it and my last one that I have is cherry vanilla cola which I absolutely love this one and I got this one first and that's why I bought the coke float one thinking that it would smell like this one without the cherry and it doesn't but this one does smell just like a cherry vanilla cola it smells like a candy. They used to have those gummy candies with like the Coke inside of them. Like, and that's what it reminds me of. And I absolutely love it. So that is all of my perfume oils from Sugar Milk Co. So let me know if you have tried Sugar Milk Co. And if you have any ones that you like or you don't like. Or any layering combination ideas. So just let me know. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.